This is Buck. And Buck joined us three years ago, um, almost four years ago, from Philly Act. He was time stamped, which means um, he, he was going to be killed. Um, he was surrendered by his family. They were moving. And the veterinarians had determined that he had um, some heart disease. He had flea dermatitis, which meant he was missing a lot of hair on his body. Um, he had some thickened skin. He smelled really bad. He had dental disease. Um, again, he just smelled really bad. And he had um, some cancer. So um, went to get him <laughs> and on the way home, he had two little fading spells from his heart issues. During his time with us, it's unusual for me to hold a dog and say, hey, they've been with us almost four years. He's had so many trials and tribulations and he has bounced back from the most dire situations. Um, so dire that it has made me question um, what I know. I'm, I'm a retired registered nurse, uh, worked with people for a very long time, consider myself fairly smart, and I can give you a lot of reasons why he shouldn't be here. And I'm so grateful that he's sitting here in my arms that I've kind of learned that as long as they're comfortable, as long as I'm able to get food into them, um, or if they're, as long as they're not short of breath or in pain that we can't control, that we keep going, we keep pushing and um, are open to new tomorrows. And um, Buck has severe valvular disease. He has um, pulmonary fibrosis. He has pulmonary hypertension. His, his heart and his lungs are kind of shot. Um, he had cancer that was fixed by just neutering him. He had bad dental disease, which slowed his heart disease. He is blind and deaf. Um, for all the things that I've just named, I can tell you that he rides with me everywhere in the car. He knows where I am in the house. Sometimes he'll run right past me and then turn around and find me. Um, but he has an excellent quality of life for all that's going on with him. And we have a tremendous amount of fun and adventure with each other. And it's never too late. They're never too old. They're never too broken. There's always, there's always a chance and there's always opportunity for things to go well, for things, for there to be a bright tomorrow. And listen to your heart and keep trying. That's what I want to mess my message for, for Buck.